I felt a while ago when I was talking about uh, Ron and his great, 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 great grandfather, however many greats that is, I did feel something. I, I, I felt a stirring of my spirit, and which I take to be a kind of the witness, what we call the witness. Did you get a witness? <laughs> you know. Now, here's something I've kind of been doing is I've been engaging with saints not aggressively, not like I'm demanding, not like I'm grasping for them or requiring of them or, you know, even urgent. You know, you think of um, children of Israel who wanted meat. We want meat. We want meat. So God says, well, okay, here's your meat. But Psalms 102 says, and he gave leanness to their souls. So, you know, uh, this thing of demanding, uh, I, I just do not want to touch that. But I do want to make it known to my father that I'm open to his timeliness, purpose, and will regarding, you know, the integration, the involvement, the engaging with uh, all the heavenly hosts. If you're okay with that, let's just step in that a little bit. Take a little bit of time. First of all, we engage Father. That's always number one. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, soul, mind, and strength. So, thank you, Father. Oh, you're proving to us all over again. Uh, every time. Every time you touch us, every time you revelate us, you prove again your good, good fatherhood. You're a good, good father. It's who you are. Oh, yeah, no wonder that song resonates. Thank you, Father. We love who you are. Just standing here, sitting here, uh, embraced and completely covered with your father ring all around me your arms your hands your caress your your voice your eyes your smile permeating me invading me renewing me marinating me i love what you do father I love your impact, your effect on my life. We love you, Father. I love you, Father. I love you so much. So grateful to be counted as part of a company of believing believers to move into some of the secrets of your heart. Psalms 25, the secrets of the Lord are with those who fear him. Oh my, that just touches my heart, Father, that you want to share secrets with your friends and those who fear your name. Thank you, Father. May we be counted as those who do fear you the reverential fear of the Lord becomes the beginning of wisdom and it becomes the predicating factor of you releasing secrets. Thank you, Father, for your ultimate wisdom that knows when to release secrets. Thank you, Father. Your wisdom is supreme. It's superior much higher than mine and even though I may have wants even desires even needs I just say again I subject them and submit them to your superior wisdom and will thank you Father Father with that is the couching is the foundation We've been talking just a little bit about our the saints who've gone on, even our ancestors, those godly ones 
who maybe are falling into the company of the cloud of witnesses. They're falling into the company of the spirits of just men made perfect. They're falling into the company of those who died not having received the promise, but they're in the process of being perfected with us. Wow, Lord, that really stirs our hearts, realizing that there's a huge resource in the heavenlies that are alongside us to assist us into the kingdom. Thank you, Father. Father, with that in mind, in accordance with your wisdom and will, we'd like to say we're open to engaging with, participating with the saints who've gone on. Just speak blessing over the timeliness and the ways that you opened that, that door to us. Since this is a big ticket item, since this is bigger than our minds can understand right now, and it's outside of even our control, even if we wanted to, we find it easy, Lord, to just say thank you for your timeliness and your wisdom. Lord, with that in mind now, who might be some of those who you would like to bring to our attention? Lord, who's going to be my co-laborer? Who's going to be the one that we come into perfection together? And Lord, what does that look like? How does co-laboring look? Lord, is it ethereal? Is it distant and very subjective? Or is it practical and tangible and in the seen realm? So, Lord, we just open our hearts and give you, just right now, formal and heartfelt permission. Thank you, Lord. Amen.